Now, he came from the streets of Miami. Now, Pitbull, people, now he's known as Mr. Worldwide. Yep. I remember when he was known as Mr. 305. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. 305! <laughs> and he was a rapper, and he was hanging out with Slip and Slide Records and Uncle Luke, and this is stuff that I was raised on yeah. in the 80s and 90s. And it's amazing to see Pitbull's success. But a lot of what happens was when you find your voice and you find your niche in this world, uh, you know, they say that it's your job to find what you want to be in life, find your gift, but then you should give it away. There's a famous quote about that. And that's exactly what Pitbull is doing, is he found his gift, obviously singing, making music, making hits, um, but now he's giving away knowledge. And I think it's very important, and that his commentary on young people today is completely necessary at this time. And basically he's saying, listen, it's official. We've officially lost the art of conversation amongst actual people. Social interaction, it's been relegated to Instagram DMs and dating apps, right? So Pitbull actually had this to say about the state of society today, especially amongst young people. Let's play this clip with volume. A society as they live, they say with social media is the socializing, what reality TV is the reality. So therefore, you don't have really kids that are, that are doing this anymore, having this conversation, look at, look at each other in the eyes, give each other a firm handshake. They live by these two words, it's followers and likes. And I tell them, man, hey, you don't want to be a follower, and who cares if they like you or not? What you want to be is a leader and unique. <laughs> Leaders make a difference. Leaders are the ones that take risks. Oh. And my, my teacher, Hope Martinez, who changed my life, and you'll hear me always talking about it, because it's the truth, she told me the biggest risk you take is not taking one. So in these times, you got to be ready to take risk. You got to be ready to uh, feel uncomfortable, because that's what makes you create. Uh, solutions today's society as they live they say with social media cool. is to social joey all right love what he said they say social media today is to socializing as to what reality tv is to actual reality mm. we all know <laughs> that reality tv is scripted and is not reality just like social media is not actually socializing i also love what he said about social media is basically relegated to followers and likes mm -hmm. forget about followers and likes be a leader and be unique. Yes. The last thing that I took from that was you need to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. One of the, I've got, I'm not that dude with a million different quotes up, okay? I think I have three quotes <laughs> in my office, Yeah. okay? One of them is save that money. We all know that, okay? Yes. The other one is from the Bronx Tale with Chaz Palm and Terry, which mm. is so amazing to me that we become friends and content creators together because I used to write down this quote every day of my life in my teens and in my 20s and I was solving for what the hell I was doing with my life. And that quote is, the saddest thing in life is wasted talent. And I said, Adam, you're a talented dude. You got it going on, figure it the F out. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know where I was going. I just know that I had talent. And it's incredible when I'm doing podcasts with Chaz Palm and Terry, I'm like, dude, I used to write your famous quote every single day on my to-do list, every day. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, here's a card wow. that said the saddest thing in life is, he's like, I give it away to everybody. I go, this is wow. surreal. But the third thing that I have quotes on my desk is your comfort zone will kill you, mm -hmm. okay? And that's essentially what Pitbull, is, the basic premise of what he's talking about right there is that you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. If you're constantly in the confines of your home, if you're constantly not exploring, if you're constantly not basically reaching out and getting out there and exploring the world, it's like you're never going to grow. Growth comes from being uncomfortable. Anytime you've done anything big in your life, it's because you were vulnerable, you were uncomfortable, you weren't ready for it, you weren't unsure of yourself, you didn't know the confidence. But what happens is you develop confidence as you become more competent. This is something that we talk about with Fresh and Fit. But everything that you do in life, it's going to, it's going to snowball the more and more that you build confidence, okay? I remember the first freaking podcast video I did, okay? I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> like, just, that's just what happens. That. Mm -hmm. The first time I did stand-up comedy, I'm like, hey, I'm a stand-up comedian, <laughs> okay? The first time that I played football, they put me in the game in varsity in 10th grade. Bro, nearly pissed my pants. <laughs> Senior year, I was the captain of the team, MVP of the team, 
all county, led the county in receptions as a wide receiver. Good things take time, but you need to get the out of the house yeah. and get on get comfortable being uncomfortable in order for these things to grow. Everybody, you know, how long does it take a tree to grow? Right? Could take years, could take decades. But people want want to just plant a seed and see a tree. Mm -hmm. That's not how this thing works. That's not how investing works. That's not how money works. And that's not how self personal growth works, investing in yourself. Right. So I think uh, at the end of the day, Pitbull is killing this thing. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, he talks about being a leader, not a follower, and not being con so concerned with likes and being unique. I know, I remember when I asked you a question one time about what you think is the most attractive qualities in men. Charisma, ambition, being handsome, being this, being that, and you said leader. Yep. That to you was like such a great quality. Yes. What, what is it about being a leader uh, that resonates with you as a woman? Um, to me, I think being a leader is you're accepting responsibility in all areas of your life. Um, and that's sometimes hard for people. I think sometimes you think leader, it's only in one area or a specific area. But to me, a leader is that you're able to take everything that you have as a challenge and take it you know, to the next level um, and be an example. And it's not saying that the leader won't make mistakes. A lot of time people think leaders are perfect, um, but believe it or not, they're made up from their mistakes and their, their past. So to me, I think being a leader is taking the ultimate responsibility of your life and accountability. Um, and I think that's attractive. A lot of the time today when, you know, there's trends going on and, and you know, everybody wants to kind of follow the flow, I think what how you find leaders is the people who go against that flow and create a new uh, community and an environment and story. Um, so to me, you know, leading is great. Love that. So uh, anyway, shout out to Pitbull for his advice. So you might be saying, all right, cool. Saz, I hear you. Thank you, Pitbull. Thank you for the advice. Um, get comfortable being uncomfortable, all right? Uh, social media is not socializing, mm -hmm. right? Just like reality TV is not reality. Cool, got it. What's your message? What can I do about this? How can I uh, not allow my comfort zone to kill me? Well, according to an NYU professor, it's actually very simple, okay? And it's actually come down to five words. I just had to count it out. There you go. <laughs> You can count. Might be six words. I can count. <laughs> but it's actually very simple. Mm -hmm. Professor Scott Galloway, who we've covered on the, the podcast multiple times to talk about the decline in men and the feminization of men and what's wrong with men, he actually said that the solution is actually very simple for men. So would you like to know what the solution is? Yes. Okay. His solution is get the fuck out the house. <laughs> simple. That's his simple solution. Mm. Get... The fuck out the house. There you go. Says six words. <laughs> Let's hear it in his own words. Oh, audio? I think. Good. The amount of time you spend at home is inversely correlated to your success professionally and romantically. Should we start it? You know. Be at home. That's what I tell young people. Start home is for seven hours of sleep, and that's okay. it. The amount of time you spend at home is inversely correlated to your success professionally and romantically. You mm. need to be out of the house. Mm. Okay. Get the out the house. You know, Kevin Samuels used to say, life happens outside the house. It's so amazing that you can be completely different. Kevin Samuels, godfather, OG of the red pill, that's one community. Professor Scott Galloway, super liberal guy, mm -hmm. okay? NYU professor, okay? Also says the same thing. If you're a man and you're sitting in the house all day, you're missing the world. You know, Ferris Bueller said, listen, you know, uh, sometimes you gotta stop and smell the, wor the roses or the li world's gonna pass you by. That's exactly what's happening. I remember um, there, there were, uh, Timberland did a remake with um, Justin Timberlake back in the day and it was dance. Don't hold the wall, uh, don't hold the wall. And that's indicative of what's going on here. Standing on the wall, being a wallflower, staying inside your house, not getting out there in public, putting yourself out there, is a recipe for disaster as a young man. You need to get out the house, okay? So according to Professor Scott Galloway, your time at home equates to your professional romantic success. Your time outside the home, okay? Mm -hmm. So find places to hang out. If you're not working, be socializing, be networking, be at the gym, 
be at bars, be at happy hours, be at events, go talk to chicks, go recruit, go recruit, go be recruited, go hang out, meet women, get approached, get rejected, it's all good. Come here, go there, say hi to a girl, take her home, take her back to your place, go meet another chick, go meet a business partner, have fun, go out, don't go home. Shit, shower, shave, sleep, done. <laughs> get the fuck back out the house, okay? People need to be less comfortable in their comfortable ass bed, okay? Mm -hmm. So they said that Gen Z is more prone to anxiety than any previous generation. Mm. Uh, get out the house, have some success, fail a little bit, get as many at bats as possible out there, IRL, mm. in the real world, in real life, in life. okay? <laughs> I was yeah. like, WL. Right. <laughs> WTF, Saz, all right? In the real world, in real life. Yes. And I think it's so funny. There's a couple messages that are happening here. Pitbull said it. Mm -hmm. Professor Scott Galloway is saying it. Uh, Kevin Samuels is saying it. If those three legends are saying the same thing, I mean, who am I to judge? Uh, you're talking to somebody that has made a name for himself in the business world, in the podcast world, in the nightlife world, simply for being outside the house and not being home. You know, I say this all the time. Sometimes your best ability is your availability. I'm like, what's up? What are we doing? Where are we going? Who's hanging out? We're going to an event. We're going to a concert. We're going to a business meeting. All right, we're going to a happy hour. We're going to go meet these girls. What are we doing? We're going to go see this game. All right, cool. I'm out the house. I'm out the house. I'm out the house. Uh, that part of that is because well, the way I was raised in such a chaotic environment in my house, mm. I, I, didn't, I didn't have to l hear a message like this. I didn't want to go home. Mm. The second that I left my house today for school, I did not come home until it was time for me to go to sleep. Mm. That was my life throughout basically all of middle school, all of elementary school. Wow. I'm out the door, I'll see you at midnight, and I go to sleep. Mm. That was my life. But what did that mean I did? I'd go to friends' houses, I would go to the mall, I would go to different plazas, I would go to girls' houses, I would go to study groups, I would be playing in my sports leagues, I'd be competing, I'd be doing preparation, whatever it was, mm. being home, sitting on the fucking TV, Sitting around, eating snacks. Now kids are playing video games. They're doing their Twitch thing. They're doing their whatever social media thing. Uh, unless you're engaging in social media stuff that is actually helping you grow and helping your mindset, turn it off. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Yeah. This stuff didn't exist when I was a kid. So I, you know, I don't know what, what, um, what kids are doing today. So I, was, I didn't have to hear this type of message about getting out of the house because I grew up in such a chaotic environment with my mm. father and all the people that would be in the house and the... <laughs> individuals that would be at the house, what I would call the retard farm. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to go home. Retard. So I was forced to go make friends and go forced to meet people. Wow. But sometimes when people have it so good, they could just sit in their house, they're on the confines of their comfortable home, in their room, on their computer, on their laptop. They don't need to go out. They can get an Instacart if they want food, Uber Eats. They can get Amazon. Anything you want is at a fingertip. You literally don't need to leave the house these days. Yeah. Okay, so some people need to force themselves to get the out the house. Okay, so uh, if all those guys are saying this message, I'm just gonna reaffirm that message. Shout out to Pitbull, Kevin Samuels, Professor Scott Galloway. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of the house. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you wanna watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.